Hey guys, Aaron Swain here from Flex CNC. Um, we're gonna play a video here and I'm gonna kind of walk through the process that I took um, to, to get a certain part set up. Um, we had a, a long 20 foot bar um, with a bunch of holes on it that we were gonna be running and we didn't really have the best fixturing solution for that. Um, so we were gonna make some fixture plates for us that we could lay the bar on and uh, apply some clamps to it. Um, so we're gonna kind of, like I said, go through the setup process and uh, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing here and I hope you guys enjoy. So what we're doing here is I'm, I'm just prepping the, the Flex CNC bed. This is our G-Series 2006. Um, you know, making sure, I'm gonna put some vices up here on the machine bed. Um, so really what I'm doing right now is just kind of prepping the, the bed and the bottom of the vise, um, making sure everything's nice and clean. Uh, I typically run a stone across the, the table and the bottom of the vise to make sure um, that, you know, we take care of any nicks or um, anything on the, the rails or the bottom of the vise to make sure everything's nice and smooth. Um, so here I'm just gonna lock down the, the Kurt vise there onto the machine bed. And uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually uh, indicate this, this vise in and you know, run it back and forth on the, on the X axis to make sure that this vise is nice and straight. Um, now the parts that we're gonna run is gonna require two vices. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually get this vise set up and then I'm gonna use this vise to kind of help get me started uh, getting the other vise lined up straight in line with the first vise that I put up on the machine. So here we're getting the second vise put up on the machine. Um, I am gonna do a little bit of a cheating type method here. Um, so I had some TGP uh, solid bar uh, here in house. So I'm gonna use that to kind of help get that second vise relatively close um, to being straight in line with the first vise. Uh, now I did use you know the, the Y axis location of the first vise so um, with using that Y location, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that um, when I zero on the indicator that I'm in the same Y axis location for the second vise. Um, that way, again, because the part's gonna stretch across two vices, I want both vices not only to be straight, but they need to be straight in line with each other. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here, getting that, that part set up across the two vices and um, get this thing set up and ready. We're going to be drilling some holes and counter boring some holes so we can bolt this down to the the t-slot rails themselves um, so based on the on the program and how we made the program it was coming off of the center of the part um, so what you're seeing here is me using the edge finder finding um, both left and right for my x center and then the front and back of the part to set my y center um, for my work offset um, now going back through the process of now setting up my tools, um, calibrating the spindle to make sure I'm, I'm good there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to load some tools and uh, get those calibrated as well. That way as we run the program the machine knows the tool length. Uh, so that that's what I was doing there in that process. And uh, now we should be ready to, to rock and roll and, and run this part here. So there we're helical interpolating the counter bore. Um, so we drilled some two holes first. The, the through holes went in and counter bored the, um, the two spots that are going to be locking those plates down to, <clears throat> excuse me, to the T-slot rails. And uh, there you see the finished parts. Uh, here all we did was we just drilled and tapped, or I'm sorry, drilled and chamfered. And then uh, we'll come back in and, and tap those holes with our flex arm and uh, use those as our setup for the 20-foot the bars that we're going to run. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave us some comments regarding you know, what you saw, if you have any questions about the process that we went through. Um, and also like and subscribe our channels. Hope you guys enjoyed.